Hey guys, it's Akonis Dorm right here and welcome back to my channel. So I'm pretty excited today because I'm going to start walking you through different videos about Magic Leap development. I don't know if many of you know, but I got a Magic Leap and I'm going to start making a game in that platform. So as I do that, I want to start recording videos of anything, you know, anything that I learn. If I'm learning to, you know, connect and record videos, if I'm learning to start doing development, if I'm learning to signing and creating a certificate, there's a lot of things that go into it. So I want to start recording. So on today's video, I'm going to focus on showing you how we can actually record a video in our Magic Leap and then pulling that video down to our computer. So let's go into it and start working on it. All right, guys. So what I want to teach you in this video is how you can actually record a video through your Magic Leap and then pull it down from your computer. So the first thing that I want you to do is if you're already wearing your, your headsets, is hold the home button for at least one to two seconds and then right after hold the bumper button without letting go of the home button then once you do that you're going to see a prompt which is going to say three two one and go once the timer elapses that means that it's going to start recording and you can record your entire experience you can go open other apps and then you know basically record what you're seeing through the headset so once you're done with the experience, just repeat the same process by holding the home button from one to three seconds, and then that bumper button from one to three seconds again. So what I wanna do here as well is I wanna show you some of the settings that you need to change in order for you to connect from your computer to the Magic Leap. So we're gonna to go to settings on the very top, then we're gonna go into device, then we're gonna to go to creator on the very bottom, then you need to enable some of these settings. I already enabled them because I already went through this process, but creator mode needs to be enabled. So you can tap on it to enable or disable and then allow on trusted sources. You wanna do the same thing there. We don't need to do anything with certificates just yet. So let's skip that. And then the one that is most important is we want to enable MLDB access. That is very important because that's what's gonna allow us to connect to it from our computer. So enable that, and then that's basically everything that you need to do as far as the, you know, the Magic Leap is concerned. So now let's jump into my computer and I can show you some of the setup that we need to do on the computer. All right guys, so I show you what you needed to do in order to record a video by using your Magic Leap. And right now what I wanna show you is a couple of commands that you're gonna need and also what you would need before executing these commands. So I'm gonna go and open up the Magic Leap Creators portal. So if we go to the Creators program, I'm going I'm gonna to go to Learn, and under Learn, Learn, we can look at the guides. And honestly, this guide is is very very well documented. I'm going to I'm not gonna walk you through everything because I already did it. I can tell you exactly what you need to do. So the first thing that you need to do is download the latest Magic Leap Package Manager, which is what I what I already did. Once you download the Package Manager, you can look at you're gonna get a Magic Leap Package Manager with a Magic Leap icon, just like I'm I'm showing you right now. And this tool is really cool because it allows you to easily find out if you know if you need a package or if you need an update. It has everything that you need in order to know you know where you are development wise with the SDKs, with you know different common packages different tutorials, if Magic Leap, you know, pushes a new tutorial, you're gonna be able to get it here. So the the basic installation is gonna be, you know, get the Looming SDK installed, which is what I did. And then the other things that I did as well were, let's see, I think that was, that was pretty much all I did, was just to get the Looming SDK, you know, and as I, as I get into other videos, I'll show you, you know, how, how do we install the Unity Editor, how do we get it going? But for this video, let's focus on the Looming SDK because that's gonna contain the SDK needed in order for us to run the command that is gonna pull the files from the Magic Leap. Okay, so get that installed. Once you have it installed, you should see this check mark. Then once you have that installed, there's a series of steps that you need to do. So I'm running on a Mac, so I did the Mac, you know, environment variable setup. If you're doing a Windows, just click on Windows. I'm gonna show you the Mac because that's the one that I did, but it should be, you know, very similar to what you'd have to do in Windows. So on the Mac, obviously it's gonna be, you know, a little bit different because I, I need to go to the library directory and then I need to create a plist file and then that plist file is gonna have an XML inside that is gonna, it's basically gonna list where the SDK is from and it's gonna set it in my path. So 
what this is doing right here, which is going to be similar to what the Windows is doing. So if we go to the one for Windows, it's going to be very similar, but you got to go to, you know, obviously a different user interface, go to environment variables, and then create a new variable. So the end goal of that is so that you can basically type this command on your command line, and, and you don't have to actually go to the path where it resides. So it's going to be MLDB, and you got to use this for a lot of things. So you can see that I can type that, and I get you know a series of of commands that I can type and parameters that I can type because that is part of the CSDK, and this is what they provide to communicate you know and do different things with the Magic Leap. So once you do that, then and you follow the instructions for setting up the you know the SDK, the environment variables, the location of the SDK, and all that, you can do you know additional steps that is going to be you know getting a developer certificate. I'm not gonna walk you through any of that. All you need to do for this video is set up the, you know, follow the steps for the environment variable for the Mac OS or for Windows if you're using Windows. Once you've done that, that's really all you need to do in order to get, you know, that command to work. And let me show you what you need to do next. So the next thing that you're gonna need to do is make sure that you're connecting your, you know, your, your light pack to your computer if you're using a Mac like I am, you need to connect the USB-C to your, you know, to your light, light pack. And once you do that, you're going to be connected via USB and we can connect directly to the device. If you're on Windows, you can do exactly the same thing and make, make sure that you're connected to the light pack by using the USB-C. So once you do that, this is what you need to do. So you're going to open the command line and you can also find this information in the creators portal. There's a lot of documentation. I couldn't find some of this documentation, and which is why I'm doing this video. So, but it but it has information as far as like connecting to it. So, if you need to look at all the devices that are connected to your computer, you can do MLDB devices. And the first time that you do it, you won't the the server is not going to be running. So, once you do it, server is going to start, and then it's going to find you know if it finds a device, you'll see the device ID next to it, which which in my case. It is this number, and then that tells me that it found the device. Now I can run other commands. So what I can do now, and now that I'm connected, I can say mldb ls dash t, which is basically this directory. So what I'm saying is, you know, list all the contents of, of the directory C1 and then videos. So if we do that and hit enter, I'm gonna get a permission denied. And let's see what we need to do to make sure that it is Oh, and that's probably because the device is locked. So you need to make sure the device is unlocked when you do this. So I'm going to put on my Magic Leap and make sure that I, I have the device unlocked because I have mine locked with a password. So if you don't have yours locked with a password, you shouldn't have that issue. So I'm just going to enter the password here. So let me get there. And let's see, two more numbers, and I should be ready to go. And perfect. And looks like we should be okay. I'm going to skip through some of these UI pieces. Okay, so now that I have it unlocked, I should be able to do this. And like you, like you can see, I can now see all the different files in my device. So let me just take it off. Okay, so how do you pull a file out? And that's going to be the next you know the next command right here so if I want to pull a file by a file name I can do a different command which is going to be in this case it's going to be mldb pull we'll do dash t c1 videos and let's say that I want to pull the latest video that I recorded we can do that and which was a 22.31.16 which is the latest one and it's going to download it to my computer we can wait until it is completely downloaded. And I believe it puts it in the same location where I'm. So you may want to create a directory to do that. So let's go to that directory and see if that file looks like the video that I recorded. So if I go to my home directory, so let's go to documents here, home, I should see, and I can see the file because it has the ML underscore, the day stamp. All right, guys. I'm and you can see that this is a video that I was shooting. Yep, and I'm, I was looking at CNN, so that's showing me CNN. So that's basically how you can pull a file from the Magic Leap. So that's everything that I wanted to cover in this video, guys. 
If you, have, you guys have any questions in addition to this, let me know through the comments. And don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Thank you.